Welcome, and thank you for taking the time to watch one in a series of narrated presentations being offered by Eden Technologies. Today's technology presentation will focus on the Alteris Software Virtualization Solution, which is commonly referred to as SVS. We will attempt to give you an overview of the SVS technology, detailing the many benefits this technology can bring to an organization. In addition, we will provide a demonstration of how the SVS technology works and walk through the process of layer creations, layer activations, layer deactivations, layer resets, and layer deletion, all terms you will be more familiar with by the end of this session. Once again, welcome to Eden Technologies Narrated. So what is SVS? Altera Software Virtualization Solution is a revolutionary approach to software management. By placing applications and data into managed units called virtual software packages, you can instantly activate, deactivate, or reset applications. Instead of running the installation of an application on a client computer, you can simply deploy and activate a virtualized version of the application. You can also host multiple versions of the same application on a system, allowing you to roll out and test a new version without having to remove the previous version. As defined by Wikipedia.com, virtualization is, quote, the process of presenting a logical grouping of computing resources so that they can be accessed in ways that give benefits over the original configuration. What are the benefits of the SVS technology? The true benefits of SVS come from the way this product manages application layers. After creating an SVS layer and deploying the resulting package to a target system in your environment, you are able to instantly activate the layer application making the program immediately available to your end users. Once it is determined that this application is no longer needed on the system, you can instantly deactivate the layer, thereby removing the application for this user. Since all application layers are delivered in read-only mode, at any po time post a deployment of an SVS layer, a simple reset command will revert the deployed layer back to the exact state of the original activated layer. Any issues or problems with the application are to immediately reset. But most importantly, SVS layers run independent of other applications on a system. Whether we are referring to the operating system, manually installed and configured applications, or other SVS layers, file and registry conflicts are avoided. This addresses that all too common DLL hell we are all so familiar with. In your current environment, managing applications is costly and requires time. The following life cycle depicts a typical environment when managing applications. There are five major management levels identified in this scenario each of which represents its own set of unique technical obstacles and challenges. However, when this same life cycle for managing applications introduces SVS, it becomes apparent how SVS can streamline and simplify the overall end-to-end -end life cycle management for these applications. So, how is this accomplished? This is a representation of how applications can reside on a computer in a standard client environment. You have a base operating system and a number of various applications installed on the machine. In some cases, applications may update or modify the operating system files. Often, different products may require different versions of shared system resources. In other examples, an application may conflict with another application's resources or settings. When an application is installed on a computer, it can replace operating system files such as shared system 32 DLLs or common files located in areas like C, program files, common files that can introduce version conflicts for files between applications.
With the introduction of SVS, the filter driver is the middleman between the applications and the operating system. Additionally, with SVS, conventionally installed applications, drivers, or patches can still be applied and have no adverse effect on the SVS layered applications. The benefit is, one, a reduction in application conflicts, two, application installation routines are replaced, removing the need for system reboots, three, stabilizing your applications and leveraging the ability to quickly and easily install, activate, deactivate, reset, and remove your layers, and four, the creation of completely portable applications. So, how does the file system driver work? The file system display in the lower left represents the base environment. It includes the Windows operating system files, data, and applications that were installed conventionally. The file system displayed in the lower right represents virtualized data that is stored in the isolated, hidden redirection area. The file system display at the top represents what the system, applications, and users see. The Fortress filter driver presents an aggregate view of the real file system and the layered virtual file system. Gold represents data from the real file system. Blue represents data from a layer in the virtual file system. As an application requests a file, the request goes through the filter driver, which determines whether the request should be passed through the real file system or redirected to a layer in the virtual file system. In this first case, the file is in the real file system or base. As an application requests another file, the request goes through the filter driver once again, which now determines that the file is in a layer in a virtual file system. In both cases, the application performs a normal file open request and has no idea where the filter driver exists or what it is doing. The result is a seamless integration of virtualized software totally transparent to the end user. Now that we have a better understanding of what SVS is, we can use what we have learned to create an application layer. There are two methods used by SVS when creating application layers, single or global capture. In single program capture, only the changes made during the installation of a specified program will be captured. In global program capture, all changes made to the computer during the capture process will be saved into the layer. For the video presentation to follow, Mozilla Firefox was used to demonstrate how SVS works. We have already installed the Alteris SVS product using version 2.1.2081 on a test machine. It should be noted that although the preferred method for creating SVS layers would be through the Alteris Wise Package Studio suite of products, we will be using the Alteris SVS admin tool to perform the task today.